During the Progressive Era, there were two very important presidents, the first of whom was Theodore Roosevelt. The second was William Howard Taft. Theodore Roosevelt, also known as Teddy Roosevelt, was the man the teddy bear is named after. William Howard Taft was our fattest president and is rumored to have gotten himself stuck in the White House bathtub. Under Roosevelt, who came before Taft, he enforced a policy of the New Deal, which was a set of government antitrust laws that he enforced himself, personally going in and breaking up some specific trusts which he didn't like. Roosevelt was also a conservationist. He reserved 200 million acres for things such as water projects, national forests, and mineral reserves. Also, under that conservationist note, he passed the New Lands Reclamation Act, which took money from federal land to be used to irrigate and reclaim land. He also passed the Meat Inspection Act, which required any meat which crossed state lines to be inspected federally. Also along those lines, he passed the Pure Food and Drug Act, which required ingredients on labels for foods, drinks, and medicines. One other interesting beneficial thing he did was he passed the Hepburn Act, which standardized railroad rates. William Howard Taft, on the other hand, took that trust-busting attitude and left all that work to the Justice Department, which brought in four times as many cases as Roosevelt's policy of going in and doing it himself. Taft also helped to pass the first national income tax, which, while the citizens may not like it, is very good for our government. He also improved working conditions, making sure that there was a, no longer than an eight-hour day for any federally involved companies. His downfall, though, was the Payne Aldrich Tariff, which made the cost of consumer goods raise and caused him to lose support. In 1912, Theodore Roosevelt attempted to run for president again. He could not get the Republican nomination because that was won by Taft. So Roosevelt decided to create his own party called the Bull Moose Party, which caused the Republican vote to split and Woodrow Wilson to win that election.